All right, I thought we'd show you step by step today how to put on the oil filter spin on conversion kit for the Ural. Uh, here's the kit along with the tools that you're going to need. Uh, you need some metric uh, Allen keys, the 1917 22 set of wrenches, and a small flat screwdriver. And that should be about what you need along with the kit. So, the first thing that you want to do that we got done over here is we're draining the oil out. Uh, basically, just doing a oil change and uh, replace the front and then fill it back up with oil. Next, pull out the oil filter and drain all of the remaining oil in the oil filter housing there. Next, remove the horn so that you can get clear access to the front of the engine. And now that the horn's off, the next step is to remove the timing cover, the large cover at the front top. Now that the timing cover is off, you may notice a little bit of oil in there. Uh, shouldn't be much, just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. Uh, but go ahead and take the timing mechanism off at this point. Alright, now that you have that off, you're going to need it again, so take care of it and lay it to the side. You can see it right in there, if the camera will focus. Okay, now that you've removed the screws on the front cover, it's time to take the entire front cover off by removing all the screws holding it on. Okay, all the screws are off the front cover, now it's time to break it free. Uh, you might want to put an oil pan on the floor underneath. And now you just kind of pry it free, a uh, little pry point beneath the filter housing there. And it should pop right free and come out. At this point, you can see all the scary looking gears on the inside. Hopefully they have all their teeth. And okay, the cover came off here, don't forget about that. Doesn't look too bad. So now you clean up, get the new gasket on there, and uh, get ready to put the new front cover on. Now here's your timing gear uh, clutch, I guess it's called. And this one has a little bit of rust on it, so we're going to clean that up before it goes back in. Now this might be the hardest part of the process. You've got to clean all of the old gasket off and be careful not to scratch anything. But uh, once you get the old gasket off, you'll lightly uh, coat it with a little bit of oil and put the new one on. Alright, at this point we've got everything out. The old gasket is cleaned off the bike. And what you do is you remove the old oil and dust seal here and you put the new one in and then you attach it to the front of the new uh, cover plate. And once you finish getting that mounted onto the front cover plate, you take the new gasket and use a little bit of thin oil to stick it to the front cover plate. Make sure your engine front is clean and you put the new cover plate on the front of the engine. Alright, we got the front cover on, just torquing the screws down, just making them nice and snug. And getting ready to put the timing mechanism back on and uh, get it ready to crank up for the first time. And it's a good time to make sure that your uh, pickup here is clean and look at the Hall Effect sensor wire as it goes through this new casing. You're going to want to take, in most cases, a rat tail file and enlarge this a little bit. You don't want it to, to pinch and this is a, it's a little small right now and it can have sharp edges on it. So what I like to do is just take a rat tail file, kind of enlarge this slightly, make sure that the edges are nice and smooth and round so that the Hall Effect sensor wire doesn't have to be pushed in but will simply fit in without any pressure. Um, concern is is if you've got to push it in there and hold it uh, over time chafing and if there's sharp edges it can cut into this so check that and you know get it ready the other thing you're going to find that you need to do is this bracket right here this clamp is going to have to come off it's not going to fit back in there because this part of the housing is going to hit right here so you're going to want to take this clamp off and then pull the Hall Effect wire over and let the cover clamp it in place. 
Okay, took the rat tail file and enlarged the opening here just a little bit, got rid of any sharp edges. The Hall Effect sensor wire now just pushes gently down in there without any trouble, comes back out, you can see. And when it's clamped, it'll still kind of hold it in place, but it's not putting any um, significant pressure on it. It's just nice and snug, but it's not pinching it. And when you're putting the timing mechanism back on, go ahead and get the screws started before you seat everything, before you push it all the way back, or you'll find there's not enough room to get the screws in. You also got to be careful not to cross thread. Uh, find a short stubby screwdriver works pretty well, but the threads are kind of tight. You'll feel like it's cross threading when it's really not. It'll give you slight resistance as you screw it all the way in. Um, but you do have to be careful not to cross thread because it does want to push off to the side. So be careful about that. All right, we got everything on. I got it ready to time. Now what you do starting out with um, basically no timing at all, at all is just make sure that the um, metal spinny part, uh, the rotor, is on and secured. And make sure that your sensor is straight up as close as you can get it. And what I do is I leave the left side a little loose so it'll still pivot and I use the right side to tighten it down. The bike will start uh, even if the timing is off a significant amount uh, at an idle and that gives you an opportunity to do the timing and adjust it just by changing the one screw, move it, tighten it back down. Then when you get it where you want it, I tighten both of them back down. But uh, we're ready to crank it up and set the timing now. All right, we got it all done. Got it timed and running again. Everything's good. Uh, one thing we did have to do, I missed getting it on video, um, but the, the clip that we removed on this one, the 2010 Patrol, we had to replace those screws with some, uh, instead of button top, just some regular screws we had to go pick up to lower the profile of the heads of those screws because this cup, this indent on the inside, even though it would miss them, once the timing was set, it was too far over for this to slip on. So we had to get some lower profile screw heads and put on the top to hold that together so this would go on. Uh, that's really the only thing different that we did. And it does pretty good. The oil filter heats up so we know oil's getting in there without any trouble. We've got our new breather tube on. And everything on it looks good right now. Uh, seems to run strong. We're just going to start running it and see how it does at this point. And that's how you put the new front cover with spin-on oil filter on the front of a 2010 Ural.